Hi. I'm going to try and recreate a fault that we experience with Zoom. I think this is quite a common fault, and there's a lot of misinformation flying around the internet in terms of how to fix it. So what's happened here is I have been running a Zoom session that I've been recording to the local computer. I've started the Zoom session, maybe done my first interview, and I've decided to pause the recording while I go and check that it's recording correctly. So I place the recording on pause. I then go into the area, the uh, file, where Zoom has been recording locally. I convert that recording, and then I watch it back, okay? And so what I get is, if I just bring this up uh, here, is I get a recording that's a minute and a half long, okay? So it stops there at a minute and a half in, okay? Now, what I then did, once I'd played that back and I knew that that was working, I then go back onto Zoom, I continue recording, finish the session, end the call, and then want to watch all of it back. I want to get back all the rest of the recording. There's another, there's another few minutes, okay? So if I now come back into uh, Zoom, You'll see up the top here, here's my original recording, 1 minute 32, okay? But we don't want that. What we want is the rest of it. So it says double-click to convert. So I double-click to convert, and all it keeps throwing back at me is this file that's 1 minute 32, which is only part of what I had recorded. And the panic sets in because when we did this last week, we'd recorded several hours worth of material. And here I'm only getting, you know, the first few minutes. And every time I double click to convert, that's all that I'm getting. And we waited. We thought it might be taking time to, you know, to, to uh, process. We waited for hours and hours. Nothing happening. It's a really easy fix. All we have to do is rename this file here. So when Zoom converts, outputs a file which is called zoom underscore zero. And as long as there is a zoom underscore zero file, then when you click double click to convert, it just brings up the work that it's already done. So what we have to do is we have to fool, and this isn't anything to do with zoom by the way, this is to do with your local computer, we have to fool it into thinking that there is still an audio file, a, a zoom file that it needs to convert. So this zoom zero output file all we have to do is change the name of it. So if I delete zero, I put in XX or anything you like, click return, okay? I now have my Zoom XX file, which I can click on. It's a minute and 32 long and it'll play and it'll do all the things that any Zoom recording is gonna do. But now when I go back and I click double click to convert, it's going through the process again. It's converting again. Now it's looking at the full recording. And you'll see in a moment when this is finished that the new zoom underscore zero file, it's not going to be 1 minute 32. It's going to be a little bit longer than that. If we were doing this for real, of course, it might be it might be several hours. But this is just a quick uh, recreation of the fault that we encountered or the issue that we encountered uh, last week. I did reach out, by the way, to Zoom technical support. And I told them, you know, this has happened. What should I do? And uh, they took, I think they responded in about 36 hours, and they had, it felt like quite a convoluted fix, um, by which point I'd already done this. So the response would have been too slow for me anyway, and I had, and this fix seems to me to be far easier. So you'll see now, it's finished converting, I have my Zoom XX file, I have a new zoom underscore zero mp4 and when we play this back it's going to be longer than a minute 50 a minute 32 it's now a minute 59 okay because i came back on and recorded a new bit which is just in there there's me just stopping it okay you see it's now a minute 59 okay so there you go. So that's all that you have to do is wherever you are recording it locally, this does not apply to cloud Zoom recordings. This is only where you're recording a Zoom call on your machine where you've paused the recording, converted it to watch some of it back, then resumed the recording, finished the call, 
and you now want to see, well, where's the rest of my file? You have to hoodwink your computer to converting the file again. It will not do that if there already exists a zoom underscore zero file. So what you have to do is rename your existing zoom underscore zero file, rename it to anything at all, and then it will, then when you double click to convert, it will go through the conversion process again, uh, only this time it will take the full recording for you. I hope you found that helpful. Please like and share and subscribe and look out for more coming soon. Thanks for watching.